Oh, there's one right there, guys. See what we got. Feels like a perch. Oh, yeah. See, oh, yeah. Nice fat one, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Pretty there's nice one size. for the fryer, huh? Yeah. The chubby little dude. Probably get my big fat thumb in his mouth here. He quit moving. Yeah, he wasn't coming off there. Nice little perch. Oh, I got Still one. About 10 inches or so, nice and fat. You got one, Aaron? Yep. Oh, yeah, Aaron's got one, too. Got him, Aaron? You need a hand? I, I might. Okay. There you go, now pinch down hard. There you go, bud, you got it. Couple perch for the fryer, Aaron. All right, bud. Drop shot perch for kicking the pants, isn't it, bud? Yeah. All right, let's throw them it in the is. ice and get ready to catch some more. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Angler's Experience. As you can see, I got a couple special guests with me. And if you watched the Angler's Experience in the past, you'd recognize these guys, but they're about four years younger. This is Aaron on my right hand side, Kendall on my left hand side. These are the kids of my editor, Mickey Howe, and they're a great group of kids. What we're gonna be doing today, folks, is going after some yellow perch with the drop shot method. We're also gonna let these guys do a little swimming while I fry these up for a little shore lunch. So I tell you what, guys, let's get out there and see if we can't catch some more of these guys. What do you say? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. That is an absolute beast. 35 pounds or so, it's a big, big fish. What a beauty. We're going to put this fish back. Yeah! That is awesome. The Angler's Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Setter Rod, the American way. Sidewinder planer boards, bite the fish, not the board. Vibe Lure Company, blade baits, serious anglers. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Easy Loader. All boat trailers are not created equal. Oxart, your single source supplier. Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. And Honda Marine, it's all about power. Got him? Oh yeah, look at that one. There's a fat perch. Wow, that's a fat one, kiddo. <laughs> oh wow. yeah. Look how big around that one that's is, huh? That's a good one. Boy, that's a big one there. Boy, he's feisty. You want to measure him, see how long he is? Want to tape measure him? Here, let me get my tape measure. So we're there. Kiddo, that's 11 inch perch. Wow. That's pretty cool, huh? That is cool, Kendall. All right, you want to hold him? That's a big dude. There you go. Got it? Yep. All right, show everybody your fish. Awesome. Got one, Aaron? Aaron's over there getting bites. We better get that one in the cooler, okay? All right, kiddo. Got one, Aaron? Yeah. What you got, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice perch. Yeah. Nice perch. Look him up here, bud. There we go. Nice little fryer perch. Oh, yeah. All right, bud. 
that's, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, one for the fryer with the kids. Shore lunch ahoy. Got it? Looks pretty got, nice. Uh, I can't even get everybody rigged up here. We're catching them so fast. All right. Kendall, you're a perch terror, kid. I was a sunny. Wow. Another good one. That little tiny tube bait right there, huh, kiddo? Uh -huh. That's a little bit small. We'll throw him back, okay? Yeah. All right. There you go, buddy. See you later. Got him, buddy? Oh, yeah. What do you got, man? Oh, Looks like a, a what is that? Small mouth? Oh, yeah. A little small oh, mouth. Yeah. Are you a fighter, huh? Yeah. All right. All right, buddy. A little smally. Yeah. He's a fighter, ain't he? Yes, he is. He's a little turkey. He hit pretty hard. Yeah, he did. Nope, we'll turn him back. Don't want to eat the bass. There you go, buddy. Get him up. There you go. Got him. Good show. All right, man. Nice little small one. Yeah. Never know what you're going to get when you drop shot, no, that's for sure. No, All right, bud. Toss him back over. I got you. I got you, Paul. All right. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Get you there is bait. not. Let's get you a new bait and get you back out there. Hey, folks, what we're doing, we're looking for these perch. It's late summer right now, and they're in their summer pattern. And what I'm doing is I'm coming up off onto a big, there's a big drop off. We're about 70, 80 feet of water behind us. And there's a big flat out here. And right now it's coming up and I'm looking for a depth of between 15 and 20 feet. There's a big cabbage bed up on this sand flat here. Once I come up into that 15, 20 foot range and I find that cabbage, what I'm going to do here, I'm coming into it now. We're climbing up. Okay, there we go. We're starting to show some cabbage here. What I'm going to do is turn and I'm going to parallel this cabbage staying in that 15 to 20 feet of water. And what I'm looking for with this color graph, I'm looking for a big red clump on the bottom. And that big red clump is going to be a school of perch. Once I find those perch, I've got my buoy sitting right here. Once I locate them, I'll just release this guy off of here, like so, throw it over the side, and then I'll just go right back to my buoy, and that's where I'll fish at. But it's very important when you're doing this, for one, to have good electronics and understand your electronics to locate these perch and two, having a marker buoy. You're gonna locate them here, you're gonna throw the buoy, and you're gonna go right back to them. So we're gonna put along here until I see something. Coming up on the cabbage right here. Yeah, there's a nice clump of fish right here. Right there, all right, let's mark it out right there. Now what we'll do, that guy's gonna spin right down. I'm gonna motor past these fish, let that buoy drop, and then we'll simply spin the boat around, like so. Shut it down. Climb up, get on the electric motor, catch some perch. Got it? Got it, kiddo? What do you got? Oh yeah, looks like a perch. Perch it is. All right, you're kicking butt with that little tube, kiddo. That's a nice one. Climb over here. Oh yeah, look at that one. Chubby one, huh? Get a hold of here. Go through. Got it. Pinch hard. All right, show everybody. All right. That one for the fryer, you want to let that one go? Well, we can fry it if you want. Okay. Oh, I got one too. Aaron's got one too. I got one. All right. Everybody's got, ooh, Aaron's got a fighter. What do you got, buddy? Oh, nice perch. A two nice perch. At a time. All right, let me get your sisters. Look at that one there. All right. All right, Kendall, grab them up, hang on to them. Okay, let's get your brothers. That's a nice one there, Aaron. Yeah, it is. Good one, oops. Good one, bud. That's a good job, fellas. Yeah. yeah, Aaron's a little bit bigger, huh? Well, we say we throw those in the cooler and see if we can't get some more. We're getting close to lunchtime. A few yeah. more fillets and we got it. Yeah. Those look pretty tasty. All right, guys, let's do it. Folks, there's a couple of baits that we like to use in terms of live bait to liven up our presentation if the straight bait is not getting it. 
And one happens to be mealworms and the other happens to be maggots. The panfish family just love these two baits. And what I've got right here, climbing around, I don't know if we'll be able to see them or not, I'll dump them off into my hand. I'll show you what these guys look like. We've got a pair of maggots and we've got one mealworm. Now when you hook these guys up, there's a special way of doing it. What you want to do, we'll generally place two at a time on the hook. Sometimes you can go three, it doesn't matter. Generally two is enough. And if you're not getting any strikes, and you know the perch are down there, you're marking them, you know you're on top of the school, you drop one of these maggots on there or mealworms on there and boom, they're gonna come right to it. What we like to do, taking this small tiny tube right here, what we like to do, if you watch these maggots crawl around, they crawl in a certain direction. When they're going forward, you know that's their head and we're gonna show you what the head looks like versus the tail. What you wanna do when you hook them up is you wanna go through the tail portion. Like so, you don't wanna take and go through the head, you don't wanna kill that guy, what you want them to do is get on there and move around. And if you pierce them through the head or the front part, they're not gonna move around. As you can see right there, they're dancing around like crazy. Now, if you hook them through the head portion, what happens is they're not gonna move. You want them just wiggling like that. So generally two maggots, and then you would do the same thing with say a mealworm. This guy right here, you can tell the head portion has got a set of legs, so you'd come in through the tail. And that's going to keep them on there moving around, which is going to drive those perch nuts. But just keep that in mind. Maggots and mealworms are great. Uh, hook them on there properly so they'll move, and you'll get those perch going like crazy. You got one? Oh, he ran you over to me. What do you got, kiddo? Fighting pretty good, isn't he? Looks like a perch. Oh, yeah. Nice one, kiddo. Come over here. There you go. Chubby perch, huh? Nope. Right by your fish. Some in there? Got it? You got it? Okay, show everybody. All right, kiddo, that's a 10 incher. All right, let's put them in the cooler. We're getting close to lunchtime now. We got a few in there. Folks, I wanna show you the baits that we're running here today for these perch. And I have two different selections that I run depending on how active the fish are. My big fish baits for the bigger perch is a Berkeley three inch bass minnow, pearl olive shad, just like you've seen me use on the show dozens of times. What I like to do with this bait, if these fish are real aggressive, I'll run the whole bait on my drop shot. And believe it or not, those big perch will eat it. Um, if the fish are a little bit inactive, what I like to do, just take my pocket knife, open it up, and just cut a portion of that bait off right there. Well, all I've done is just taken and basically downsized the bait, cutting about that much of it off. Now, this is gonna tend to get your bigger perch. One of the other baits that work well for the bigger perch is just a tube bait, like so. And this guy's about a two and a half inch model. And those big fish will eat these. You, you may think that the perch will not eat them, but they will. And the whole key is you gotta find those big perch. Now, today we've had some weather blow in. We've got a low pressure cold front coming in. Um, as you've seen, it's really, really windy out there and dusty. And what's happened is we've had to go to our finesse presentation, our smaller baits. And basically what we're doing there is we've got a little tiny tube. We've gone from this size tube down to this size tube right here. This is tube's about an inch long right there. And the other thing that we're running is a little Berkeley Power Nymph, a little small baits. The only reason why we made that change is because of that low pressure coming through and that cold front kind of slowed those fish down a little bit. They're not wanting that big presentation. Now, when you're hooking these up, there's two styles of hooks I like to use. And in the drop shot DVD that you folks have purchased, and, and I want to thank the 900 of you that have purchased those so far since the first of the year, but we cover all these baits inside of there. But for those of you who are not familiar with the drop shot video that we sell, basically what I'll do is I'll cover these techniques with you in, in the hooks that we're using when we're fishing for the panfish, like these perch. With these bigger baits, like this tube or this bass minnow, what I like to do is use an Aberdeen hook. And the Aberdeen hook is just a long, straight shanked hook like this. Now what I'll do is I'll take these baits, like take this tube for example, and I'll actually take and thread the tube on there. 
it's a little bit of a pain let me show you here now what I've done is I've threaded that tube up on that long shank Aberdeen hook like that right there the reason that I do that if you just take a nose hook it your hooks gonna be way up in the front right up here and what happens the perch come up and they're hitting this right here they're hitting this tail so I want to place that hook as far back as I can works the same way with the bassman I'll just thread it up on there to get that hook back towards the tail where the perch are gonna be biting on it now with these smaller baits what I like to do is I use a size 4 Gamagatsu split shot drop shot hook right here very small little hook and what I'll do like this tiny tube right here like Kendall's using we'll just take and nose hook it just like that now that bait's swinging around jumping around those perch come up and grab it they're gonna take the whole thing in but just keep that in mind with your bigger baits use your Aberdeen hook to get the hook all the way back towards the back with your smaller ones just use that size 4 Gamagatsu split shot drop shot just nose hook that bait and you're ready to rock you got one Kendall I got okay one. Aaron's got one too let's see what we got here sunny. you got a sunny what's Aaron got Oh, Aaron's got a big perch. Look at that one. <laughs> That's a big one right there, buddy. Look at that. That's a toad right there. Look at that, Kendall. Kendall, look at that. Look at that. Beauty. All right, Aaron. Let's throw him over the side, bud. He's big. We need to keep that gene pool going. That's a nice one. All right, I'll throw the sunny over. All right, buddy. What do you got, Kendall? Bring it up easy. Oh, my gosh. Easy, don't break the line, Kendall. Easy, easy. Swing it over here. Oh, man. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> that is a monster. That's a big perch, huh, Aaron? Kendall, look, I can't even hang on to it, girl. Look at that. You guys, we got to measure this one. That is awesome, Kendall. We're going to let this one go because he's so big, okay? Pull that tape down. See the, see the zero right there? Put it on the bottom of his tail. Pull it out. Keep going. Got it on the bottom of his tail. Oops. Pull it, pull it hard. Pull it. There you go. Now put the zero at the bottom of his tail. You got it there? Yeah. Look at that, kiddo. Almost 14 inches. Oh, nice is that yeah, awesome? That is awesome? Let's get a girth, kiddo. Wrap the tape around his belly right there. Come up here. Come around like this. Let's see what we got here. Kendall, that is eight inches around. That is awesome, girl. Good job. Let's put that one back, okay? That's a good gene pool right there. Let's send him over the side. There he goes, Kendall. See you later, Perch. Good job, girl. All right, babe. Good job. Nice one. There's one right there, guys. Oh, you got one? Yep. Right over by the marker buoy again. There's a nice fat one, guys. Nice Look at that one. Spot. Nice little perch. Pretty nice one. Heck yeah. Pretty nice. Another one for shore launch right there, huh, guys? Yeah. Nice fish. 10, 11 inches. Really thick. Yeah, All right. One for the fryer, guys. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a nice one. Well, folks, we're in the middle of a windstorm slash dust storm here. I don't know how well the audio is going to sound. We just had this thing blow in on us, so hopefully it doesn't shut our perch fishing down. That's a good one, bud. Yeah. Heck yeah, huh? Mm hmm Go ahead and lift them up, Aaron. Show everybody at home. <laughs> got him, bud? Yep, I got him. There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah. There's a 9, 10 incher. Good for the fryer, huh? It looks like it. All right, bud, let's throw them in the cooler and see if we can keep fishing in this dust storm. Hey, let's do it. I got your rod, bud. Real, real, real. You got That's one, too? A littler one. Kendall's got one, too. That's a chunky. Look, he's got a big old knot on his head right there. There's a humpback. Good job, kiddo. All right, guys, what do you say we go in and do a little fish frying for lunch? That sounds Tell good. Deal. You guys yes, can go swimming does. while I do a little cooking? Yeah. All right, let's good. do it. Let's put those guys back, go get some fish clean, and eat some up. All right, guys. Good deal.
plates. That looks good. Two pieces of fish, Kendall? Yes, please. Okay. Get you some french fries here. That good? Yep. One more, how's that? <laughs> all right. All right, Aaron. Thanks. One piece of fish for you, bud, three. Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds good. He's a big man, right? Looks good, fellas. It does, it does. Mm, that's good, Seth. Yeah, good stuff, bud. You. It is. You bet you guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having me. You bet. Yep. It's hard to believe it's been four years since you guys were on here last, huh? Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to fix that. Your dad's always out there. We just got to bring you guys along some more. Yeah. Really can't good. buy dinner that good in the store, huh? No, you can't. Got to go out and cook it yourself. Yep. And catch it. Fried it up in the old cob cooker. It worked out good. Dead. Well, folks, we just got the cooking all cleaned up. Got everything cleaned up and ready to go. It's starting to get a little bit thundery out, so... We need to get the boat on a trailer. I want to thank Aaron and Kendall for coming out and catching those perch. Yeah, thanks for having us. You bet you guys. We put some good food in the belly, didn't we? Yes, we did. We had good times also. Folks, I want to encourage you to take a child out fishing anytime you can. It's the best thing you can do. Pass it on to these guys. They'll in turn take their kids out when the time comes. As always, I want to thank you for watching. and look forward to seeing you next week. Let's go load up, guys. Okay, let's do it. For a list of today's gear and techniques, log on to axfishing.com and select AX Journals.